Welcome to Church Street here in Padium. We're here to take a look at this fantastic mural that's being created on the wall behind me. Artist Chris Butcher has been hard at work over the last two weeks bringing this original piece of art to life, inspired by the trams that used to pass through our town. You might also recognise some elements of the design taken from the beautiful textiles that are held in the collection at Gawthorpe Hall. The idea for this project came about through consultation between Burnley Council, Mid Pennine Arts and members of the local community. I'm here with Suzanne from Burnley Council. Suzanne, so tell me a bit about how this project got off the ground. This has come about through Paddyham Townscape Heritage Scheme is an initiative funded by the National Lottery Heritage Fund which has been going through a few years in Paddyham now and the main focus of that has been trying to um, repair and restore um, a number of buildings that had fallen into a poor state of repair in Paddyham along with environmental improvements to upgrade the paving and highway which is all about trying to engage the local community in their local heritage and culture because I think we feel that if they are engaged in it then they'll love and look after it uh, for years to come. This was an idea that local businesses and, and residents in the area had. They wanted to do some sprucing up of, of gables in the area and because we had the opportunity with the funding as well, we formed a steering group to try and take this idea forward. So what's the feedback been like from local people so far? The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. People just think it's amazing that the, the talent that Chris um, has shown in, in, in producing this. Uh, people are just amazed by it. I've, I've heard one negative comment. This is going to be a community asset for Padium for years to come and people are really excited about it. So we stood here at the beautiful Lawrence Hotel and we've got Michael, the owner, who was involved in the consultation. Michael, tell me about um, what, why you got involved with the project. So we had a group meeting of all the local businesses in 2018 and we wanted to get ready for all the work that was being carried out in the town and we were looking at ways of promoting and somebody came up with the idea of why don't we do some murals. So we started looking into it and four and a half years later we're here finally, which is amazing. These kind of projects bring a lot of civic pride. Looking on Facebook, I had a little bit of trepidation. I didn't know what people were going to say, and people have just been blown away by it. It, it. The feedback and kind of the pride in the town is is really evident. Art has a way of drawing people to it. We've obviously got this one, one down the bottom of the hill, and then we're going to put in for funding as well to maybe try and create some smaller ones as well. And then we might be able to get a bit of a trial going around uh, so people can come and look at different artwork in the town, which would be an amazing thing for a small little town in East Lancashire. And Padium already has a bit of an artistic sort of identity, doesn't it, with painting Padium. What do you think it will add to that? The more that we bring and the more reasons we bring for people to come to us, the better it is. Tourism is a, a massive business for Lancashire and I, I hope we're going to get our slice of the pie um, by being innovative and creating reasons for people to visit the town. Say that there will be another mural as well appearing very soon. Yeah, so we really, we really couldn't pick between uh, Chris and uh, the other artist, Gavin, uh, but fortunately they were, they were willing to share the commission. Um, so um, Chris is, is nearly finished with this gable and Gavin is coming to Padium on Monday to start on the other one. Over the last few years, Padium has become quite a cultural hub for artists, so it's perhaps no surprise that this wonderful work of art has got its home here now. Suzanne, tell me about what makes Padium a special place for art. Well, I think Padium uh, has always had um, some, some really specialist and creative businesses and we're really lucky to have um, uh, an art gallery, picture house in the town centre and, um, and through the hard work of the, of the art gallery we've also had a really successful event which has been going on for maybe six or seven years now, the Painting Padium event which attracts, um, sometimes we've, I think we've had 80 artists come uh, one year to paint Padium. It's a really lovely event celebrating Padium through art and this backdrop is going to be here for the next painting Padium and it just complements it so well. I imagine this work of art will probably feature in a few of the paintings next year. I'd like to think so, yeah. It's a nice bit of artwork, yeah, he's very good the guy who's done it. it makes Padium look beautiful. I thought it was a lovely piece of artwork. I think the guy that's done it has done a fantastic job. It's really nice to promote the businesses around here, help the town thrive. I think it really looks really nice, it's nice for the town, looks colourful. I didn't know there used to be trams in Padium until I researched it, but yeah, it's very fitting. We need to say thank you really, don't we, to the people of Padium? 
Yeah, definitely. Um, like, like I say, we, we've had a steering group in, in place really, really driving this and that's been made up of representatives from um, the local community and local businesses, the landlords of these gables, which we are incorporating the artworks on, Mid Pennine Arts, who have been giving the, us um, their expertise uh, from the art world, Gulf Up Hall, Padium Archive. Um, so it really has been a, a team effort and um, also a, a massive thank you um, to our funders, the National Lottery Heritage Fund, because we, without their funding and support we, we wouldn't have been able to bring this to fruition. And of course to the amazing people of Padium as always.